sound check. What's your name to you? Uh, Tom Dixon. <laughs> Tom Dixon. Hi, one two one two one two. I'm uh, James Futcher. Work as a creative leader at range and product design at IKEA of Sweden. Chocolate. Never heard of that. Mm. Absinthe. Oh, that is disgusting. Maybe they're not all edible. Maybe some are poisonous. <laughs> Real bitter taste after that. Uh, that was a bad idea. Uh. Okay, so every year there's the Chelsea Flower Show, which happens here in, in London. Um, it's the biggest event in horticulture in the world. And we've decided this year to team up with IKEA and build a conceptual garden. At IKEA, we're really um, excited with this opportunity to work with Tom Dixon on how we can actually really promote growing in the home. There's going to be more and more people in the world. People are moving to the cities and food is such an important part of our life. If we can encourage people to grow a little bit of the food they eat at the home, that can make a big change to the environment. By 2050, there's an expectation that there will be 10 billion people on this planet. So, of course, food, access to food, affordable food, and growing food at home in local communities will be absolutely essential for a good quality of life. I think every day brings a, a, a miserable story about the environment, and I think that um, people are more and more distant from the um, uh, means of the production of their food. I think people are authentically interested in how their food comes into being and should become more interested in producing it themselves, if possible. And that's where IKEA see a very important role to play in how can we provide the solutions and make it affordable, desirable and easy to grow food uh, at home. We're going to promote a way of encouraging people to grow with an event at the Chelsea Flower Show. What normally happens in Chelsea Flower Show, as hinted at by the title, is that the concentration is mainly on flowers. But we also can see the importance of actually growing vegetables and eatable plants. But what better place to expose this idea to reach the many people at doing it the best event in the world? So we're going to be doing a massive show garden, and it'll be in two parts. The upper part is the natural world. Um, really wild, all functional plants that, that really have either medicinal or edible properties. Um, and underneath is more like a science lab, um, powered by LED lights and robots and hydroponics. <laughs>